What up, people? Welcome to the dark room. No, seriously, uh, welcome to Game Over Entertainment. This is Life is Strange episode four gameplay going on right now. So y'all know what time it is, man. We're going to jump into uh, the dark room right now. And I got to say one thing about this episode is that I haven't been more hype or more ready to play episode than I am right now. Maybe because of the long wait time we've had between the episodes or perhaps because of the cliffhanger we had in episode three. But I've waited long enough. Now we're going to jump into the alternative breach and see what the hell's going on with this story, man. Because they are really throwing a curveball at us right now. And I don't know what we're going to see. Even though we did get the trailer that was pretty revealed a lot of things. Previously on Life is Strange. They could have tricked us. <gasps> yeah. We'll see. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hmm. Alright, that was Gentlemen episode two. Ladies. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Hmm. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Hmm. That's not you fair, know Chloe. You always like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Uh... Not really. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally Max. Up. Never what Maxine. Else have I changed. As Max I've been told many Caulfield. times. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Hmm. All right, where did it go put me at right now? Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. Consequences of all your game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. You know, that sounds so menacing when I read it like that. Okay. Alright, we just hanging out on the beach, y'all. No worries. Squenix. Hmm. Two bikes down here. But who do they belong to? Can't be Chloe, right? Man, that was the whales that we saw on the bus ride over here. Life is Strange, episode five. Oh man, rolling around with Chloe in the, in the wheelchair. Guess we'll finally learn what the hell happened to her. The official story. This walk looks so depressing. It's weird hanging out with you again. Uh. I know. I'm glad we are, though. 
It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. Hmm. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. Huh. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> this is so the fucked worst up. Thing you do is treat me like a baby. Ugh. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. Hmm. I kind of know how they feel. Do I still own a camera? At least I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. It was the car. Blame William, no. This is this is my fault. I changed I changed time. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and, and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. She's still missing? Even though the things are set in this timeline and Chloe's never met her before, she's still missing. So that is ingrained. Just to make sure, though. What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Hmm. Oh man, I changed the life, but I haven't changed the environment. That's crazy. Hmm. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. Oh. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but. As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. Oh, Chloe, who are you? <laughs> what have you done with my Chloe? Oh, man. It says you hate hella. All right, uh, so that's, that's probably William's car. I guess we saw in the picture and, um, that's where this truck is, nothing this beast scene is from. Yo, yeah, Max is gonna be compelled to fix this shit. She can't just sit by this one, guys. Uh. So Rachel Amber's uh fate is set in stone, man. I can't change her fate. She's still missing. It's 
This is Chloe's alternate house. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. Yeah. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. <laughs> Can you, uh, can you bring me some water? No, <laughs> no, don't. Oh my god, this is this is so not cool, man. <laughs> I can't stay in this timeline like this. This is this is just not right. Let me just look at some stuff real first. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Yeah, the bright side. Uh... Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. All right, let's see. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. I know Max guy feel like shit right now. That's a serious heat lamp. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. Oh, the snow doe. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. Hmm. Oh, still wear your makeup, okay. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Well, it wasn't on purpose. Max. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. Let me see. Add Max. What's going on here? Picture of. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. My parents sent something. I wonder Man. who this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I am so sorry for what happened. Know that I am here for you. If you need anything, I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. XO Megan. Who's Megan? Yeah, Chloe's new friend. I wasn't friend, really I available to Chloe. Real nice. Let me see how much of an asshole I was. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you are well etc i know your life is different now and i don't want that to get in the way of our friendship yes i haven't been around lately but that will change soon i hope you are well max it's just say what year i wrote this in <laughs> if this was like maybe recently then it's okay but like a couple years ago sent road trip selfies to chloe i'm sure that made her feel great mm. max it is so cool that you're here again <laughs> i'm glad you think so so that's the water. All right, I put it through the tube and yeah, it handles the rest. Let me check out a little bit more of the room first. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Uh, gas mask optional. Mm. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Yeah, probably make it look like a big clown. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Huh. 
Hot Wheels chat rooms. <laughs> That's funny. There's the old Chloe. All right, let's do the water Instead thing. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? Drink up, Buttercup. Okay. All right. It's. <laughs> oh man. Her mouth works. What am I talking about? <laughs> throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? <laughs> I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Hmm. Uh, you're right. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, with your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, he'd have to be my live-in assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Ah, Chloe. <laughs> Please don't. Don't make this worse than it has to be. <laughs> Which friends? Let me let me just say which friends. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. Okay. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. Wow. Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Hmm. Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. Mm -hmm. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William <laughs> are incredible. Max, <laughs> the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? No. Chloe, you're priceless. I know. Please, uh, don't go that route. No pun intended. Oh, Lord. Please don't go that <laughs> route. such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. <laughs> it would be sweet to H -E -S. go together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh, bro. They got the feels on all-time high, man. It's free up there, medical bro. Medical supplies. All right, I'm looking for Blu-rays, man. If she's gonna she be stuck to like this. Lotion to keep her blood circulating. She's watching 1080p Blu-ray. Where where are the Blu-rays, bro? Okay. Uh, DVD player? Unacceptable. Really, my only friend who kept in touch. William. Yeah, I we need a Blu-ray now. Uh, here's the DVD. Oh my God. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Hmm. I wonder if that, you know, I did mark a butterfly by the fireplace. I wonder if that's still there. It should be with my decisions, but I can't see right now. So let's just play the movie. Blade Runner, oh, we got some good taste.
Hmm. All right. Hey, please don't let Chloe kill herself. Please don't do that. <laughs> uh, that would be extremely depressing. Because she thinks she's a major burden on her parents. Financially and probably in a romantic relationship, so. Damn. Oh, damn. She stayed up the whole night? Or is it still nighttime? I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. Oh, you? okay. I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um. I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? Mm. It's uh, it's she total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, mm. My parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. All right. Hopefully, this is legit. Uh, you no know, morphine. That's a powerful C two drug right there, bruh. Uh, right. I don't feel comfortable injecting her myself. I should go get William. But you know, for the sake of the story, let's let's go. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. William. Oh, he looks stressed out. What's on TV? They gave Chloe their giant, expensive HD TV, and they use her shitty tube television. Yes, the atrocities never end. I'm getting text messages from Victoria. What the hell's going on? Uh, let's see. <laughs> but, yo, I probably should go back and read these joints because it's totally different, my relationship with her. Guys, bear with me, okay? I know we don't go into this much detail. Uh, <clears throat> Max, you busy girl? Avoiding homework is useful. I told you I helped you out. You never let me help. Okay, okay, drama, stop and help me by caring. <clears throat> I do try. By the way, I scored that killer bud from you know who, FYI. Save me a bow, gotta bounce. Talk to you later. Man, so Max is getting blazed. Come to my room tonight. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, Kay. Love you, Max. If you're mad, just tell me, Kay. Silence. If you want to talk, my door is open. Love you, dude. What kind of relationship am I having with Victoria right here? Is it like a platonic relationship or is it something a little more than that? Uh, wait, hold on. The butterfly I sketched over here is not here right now. Huh, so that God, detail is gone. Bells never end. Yo, William, I'm glad to see you back in the land of living. But, uh, you know. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? What's that? Jesus. The Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds into the. given the local scope of this echo mission. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Hmm. Rachel's still gone. Shoot me now. Let me just take a little peeky. They right. might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Oh man, they hold, they hold 12 grand. That's no chump change. 
Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Still got to human. bother me. I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Hmm. How's Joyce doing? Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Uh, crazy weather, eh? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. Hmm. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. This is a good day. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Mm. Next question. Whoa. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. So Joyce works there, huh? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Let's talk about Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her and be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Boy, they are laying on thick. Oh. I was impressed by Chloe's room. I'm tempted to stop talking to him. This is getting too much. You should be. <laughs> we could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. Mm -hmm. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? <laughs> no? Yeah. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. Well, I'm so great. I want to ask him about the again. morphine, bro. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please keep me from these bills whenever you want. You know what? You know, William, you're not such a bad guy, man. I really like this guy. Even in this depressing situation, he still has a good spirit about him. Gotta appreciate that. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Okay, 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 let's see. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. That morphine is anything but natural, Max. Nothing here. Okay. Take a look at myself. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. It's the outfit. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Yeah, I'm hooking her up. She's gonna be so high. Ooh, what's in Chloe's room now? Huh. They never repurposed it. I see. Two 
Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. <laughs> no surprise. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Damn, didn't work out that way. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. We had a brother? He kind of lost touch after William died, and now he's back in their lives because he's alive. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. Alright, we're not gonna stay here too long. Let's hop up. At Who's least trapped? We never had to hide from Step Douche. Height chart. Oh, bro. Man, <laughs> fuck this height chart. I already know what's going on there. <laughs> uh. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Alright. Let me check out this room and, uh. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Oh whoa, she's still in here. It is so nice to have you around. Yeah, don't mind me just walking in your room without even knocking on the door. That's completely natural. Oh, I guess. Good not morning, still. Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years, after the accident. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Is William still the same after Everything that's he happened can't be the same. For better and for worse, but always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. It sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit, things would be different if I did. <laughs> I like how you think, kid. All right, Joyce, we're about to wrap I this up. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Yeah, Her respiratory I read about system this. is very weak, and she, she... Do you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. Alright, Joyce. That's enough. I better get back to crying now. <laughs> I can't talk to you guys it's anymore. You, Joyce. you guys are making you me too. sad as hell, bro. Okay, that's that's enough. I gotta go. I can still rewind. Yes, I forgot. Yeah, bitch. I still have the power. Okay, I'm not gonna. There's no reason to use it, but just just checking, you know, because that was up for debate, you know. All right, man. You know the way this is going right now, I don't know if they're gonna let me get a choice. It may not be my choice whether or not I want to rewind. I may have to rewind if Chloe is going to die. Because they are building her up to say that she is about to lose her life. 
because her breathing is failing her. God Check out the damn, backyard real quick. Never end. Uh, the, 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 ooh, those, the, those rescue car keys, man. Should have let William find them. Mm, I don't know. Conflicted now. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. <laughs> uh, yeah. An irony. Bonjour. That's great. They finally went to Paris. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Hmm. They went to Paris in a talking point. Hmm. Let's talk about this little trip. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. Hmm. It's not fair, Max. Oh, another loophole in time. If I can get Chloe to go to school in Petty, I then have to go see if Chloe needs She anything. may not get hurt, but then I also lose my friend in the process. It was process. so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please keep me from these bills whenever you want. Yep. All right, Will. We'll give your daughter a nice injection. She won't forget. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and do this, though. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more Max, bugs for her. You're funny. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, Is that a Matrix it. reference? Get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. Old pictures. My like emo ground zero. When we were kids. Plus Max Caulfield there we go. did not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. That's gonna be my windows to the past right there. Let me see. Where are we going this week? Oh, Adam. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's some <laughs> time for you. Can't even look at this photo album. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. And there's the I picture. That shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could. Oh shit. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is <laughs> They laying it on thick, bro. Uh, mm. And it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. 
Hmm. So, mm -hmm. I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Oh, fuck, no. You no, yes. I will not kill okay. you. You, I, you, you did not ask this of me. Is crank up the IV to 11. No. F that. Mm -mm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> no way. I refuse. Chloe. It's like a mercy, though. I can't. But, damn it, no, it you can't. Me to see you in any can't pain. do me that. But can't do this to me. Any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Yeah, that will be my conscience for the rest of my life. My illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me, like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go, and don't come back. Chloe, I'll be like that, Chloe. I am never leaving you again. She go. Oh, Lord. All right, I'm, st I'm stuck here. What's going on? Focus on the photo. I guess we're doing this, people. We're going back. I'm sorry, William. Damn it. Poor William, man. It's an awesome guy. That's what makes this even more whack. But shit, I can't let this stay like this. Hell to the new.